isn't that what Mr. Francesco is saying? I mean, that, I guess that's why I thought this was a subset and that the reasonable precaution was problematic because it would sweep in the merely stopping, walking away, the milk spoilage scenario. I thought that the government, I, I was confused by why the government accepted reasonable precautions or thought it was necessary in order to come out the way you did. The reason we have used the reasonable precautions formula is not so much the words reasonable precautions, but rather the rest of the test, namely sudden cessation of work resulting in imminent and foreseeable harm. That's the part that we think is doing the work in eliminating... But why isn't that the milk scenario? I mean, I still feel like that could be inconsistent with some of our precedents. If you have a union that, without deliberately timing it, I, I, I thought the real problem, you know, in some of our cases, in the, in the molten metal case, was the sort of conspiratorial, deliberate timing of this to inflict maximum property damage. But it seems to me that imminent... Uh, you know, problem to the product covers milk too. If you walk off and you know that the milk is going to spoil, why isn't reasonable precaution triggered in that case? It in, is, yeah. It isn't triggered because the board has understood the concept of imminent harm not to apply. The milk is going to spoil either way if it's left there, whether or not the people leave. It's not caused by their sudden cessation of work. That's the first point. And the second point is that that is a sort of routine consequence that uh, attends any strike. Now, I accept the verbal formulations that the board have used may not be the most perfect ones. It may be that uh, some other words need to be used to describe those scenarios. But the key point that I would like to convey to the court is that the mere spoilage of a perishable product after people walk off from the job is not something that the uh, striking employees can be held responsible for. Counsel, if 